Well, selling tamales on the streets of Tucson, it's a popular tradition, but it's not sanctioned by the state or health officials. That may soon change, along with the street sale of other perishable foods made in home kitchens. News for Tucson's Megan Spector tells us about an effort to protect street vendors like people who make a living selling homemade tamales. Here in Tucson, many of us are familiar with people selling tamales or other street food in parking lots and around town. This bill is trying to legalize these sales, and now that bill is back on the governor's desk. Tamales, lleve tamales, señor. Delicious tamales. Along with the smell of fresh tamales, there's a familiar face you may have seen outside your grocery store. I'm selling tamales 21 years. At parking lots around the city, Alma Taylor sells tamales to help make a living. Me go para working eight hours, a little money, no pay good, no it's a no it's pay good, and and me sale tamales more money. I need money, gas, rent, food, and and pay para work is a little money. I need more money. Alma tells me on days she sells, she spends about two hours cooking and two hours selling, and she usually sells about six dozen a day. One hundred fifteen dollars, six dozen. If somebody can produce something at home in addition to their job or make it their job and create some extra income, maybe create part time work for somebody who comes and helps them in their kitchen. It's a wonderful thing, and that's why it's a win. It's a win for people. It's a win for Arizona. It's a win for everyone. Representative Travis Grantham is the prime sponsor of this bill and a similar one vetoed by Governor Hobbs last year. The reintroduced bill includes a few small changes addressing some of the governor's concerns. Someone in the kitchen has to hold a food handler's card and uh, be overseeing the um, production of the food. But when it comes to questions of health and safety. I really think the people who do this take a lot of pride in what they do. Uh, they're very careful with it. Most of them eat it as well and serve it to their families. The data is not there to support that concern. Kevin Andrades runs Taco Los Compas on Fort Lowell. And while his food truck does have a license, he says he's no stranger to the homemade street food scene. I grew up in the southern part of Mexico, so uh, over there is like everywhere you go, there's uh, street vendors and all that. So it's pretty much, you know, how I grew up. So I don't see anything bad about it. Pretty much just like us, like we do this for full time. So we try to make for a living for us three, but uh, I would understand why they would do that too. Representative Grantham tells me he's confident that Governor Hobbs will sign this bill this time around. Reporting from the West Side, Megan Spector, News 4, Tucson. Let's head out.